since we got this massive move to the upside from this very huge boost of volume that occurred in the span of an hour sent the price rising massively all the way from 40 cents all the way up to 48 cents before it kind of got uh, rejected off of its 200 period daily simple moving average. Hello everybody, my name is Drew Demon and I am the Devil's Stockbroker. In this video, I'm going to be going over ticker symbol TRKA for a quick update on its short liquidity squeeze situation. The stock is currently trading at approximately 43 and a half cents after hours, but there's been some really interesting price action that I want to go over. Let's first overview the daily chart. So we called out TRKA at approximately 23 cent level several days ago, back around the 9th of February. And most of Hell's trading floor had gotten a position in this range. Now, when we saw this uh, alerted by our Scourge bot, big shout out to the bot for finding us another runner. The situation was that short exempts on this particular stock were unusually high for the amount of volume that we were seeing. And this was a signal to us that this stock was having some liquidity issues. At that time, the short interest was blowing past approximately like 60% of the which was extremely unusual. And the on loan shares was also very, very high. You can actually take a quick look at the Ortex data here and you'll find that the amount of short interest in this stock is basically in a parabolic curve going up and up. It was already at around 46 to seven, uh, 46 to 60% short interest approximately by this date. And it's only been going up ever since. Now we're well over 106% short interest percent of the free float with 157% of the free float borrowed on loan. What this tells us is that market makers are in a situation where they are in desperate need of shares. We go down to the five minute chart and take a look at the price action from yesterday. Troika was actually holding up a nice floor at VWAP right here at around 43 cents, which is right around where we currently are now. However, starting at around 1.30 in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time, there was a bunch of volume that started coming into the stock and pushing it down where we actually had around a negative 8% move span of about an hour and a half. And in that time, there was only about 16 million shares traded. Now on the day, Troika traded a massive difference of shares at that time. Troika actually on that day had traded more than 165 million shares of volume. So what's with the sudden move where we had this massive downward price action with relatively small volume? What this was was essentially a preparation by an institution to perform a stop loss hunt. Stop loss hunts, or also referred to as liquidity raids or liquidity hunts, is when an institution who requires shares or wants to enter into a large position will look for areas of price action or price levels where there is a significant amount of uh, stop, uh, stop losses set at. You can gauge this if you're an institution that does not have access to order book data, such as like just a trading firm, an ordinary trading firm cannot see stop loss data, would assume that the stop loss is sitting at a level where price action only wicked and quickly recovered from. So you can kind of gauge this as a liquidity level. And um, this, is, this is how big institutions or trading firms will try to look for price action uh, in order to pick up shares at a specific level in order to enter a long position. If you are a market maker who does have access to individual customer order data that is beyond market level three order book data, you can actually see the stops themselves. So you can actually actively detect whenever somebody has a large stop position set up for grabs. And market makers will frequently take advantage of this by walking the price down with a consistent level of shorting. And then once they get it to a price level where there is not much support, they will slam the price with a high degree of volume 
in a single candle, usually less than five minutes. They will smash the price all the way down through the, all the stop levels. So this entire trading range right here, where there was a bunch of traders that had active stop, uh, stop losses set, they broke the price level through that. And then the market maker, maker immediately sets up a buy order and scoops all those shares up. So all this trading action that we saw happening here, this was a market maker shoving the price down to a level, hitting those stop losses and ripping those shares out of retail investor hands so that they could get a position for themselves. Now, what I suspect is going on is market makers are desperately in need of new shares because they are running out and these short exempts that were due today, Wednesday, were going to be overdue if they didn't get them by the market open. So there was a massive incentive by this institution who I suspect had shares due by the next morning, decided to run this big liquidity hunt, grab as many shares as they could. I would say that they were by and large extremely successful since 31 million shares were traded in the span of this time, which more than covers the one, uh, the nearly two and a half million I would say short exempts that were going to be due tomorrow and the next couple of days. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that this uh, situation has ended for Troika because, as we can see, Troika found quite a bit of support the following day and we started moving up big time today off of this inverse head and shoulders pattern. And as a matter of fact, while I was recording my other video today, I saw I was watching Troika just move up by 20% in the span of an hour. It was pretty crazy price action. And I was anticipating that we would get something like this in the following weeks since we had all these short exempts. I wasn't expecting this kind of a move to start happening so quickly. I kind of had the, I've been operating under the assumption that since we had this big stop loss hunt that occurred down here, that market makers were going to try and keep the price down here and continue to scoop up more shares and deliver on the price uh, or on those shares that were going to be due for the rest of the week. Since we got this massive move to the upside, it's very difficult for me to tell if this was an institution or just a whale. I have no idea, but the amount of price action here from this very, uh, very huge boost of volume that occurred in the span of an hour sent the price rising massively all the way from 40 cents all the way up to 48 cents before it kind of got uh, rejected off of its 200 period daily simple moving average. Now, where we go from here is uh, it, it's still up in the air, but the amount of volume that we're getting here today suggests to me that Troika is absolutely not done. So far, if I go back over to my Ortex screen, you can see that the short interest of the free float is still on the rise. The live short interest was estimated at around one, uh, 109% as of close. We'll get an update in the next couple of days uh, to confirm if the short interest is truly still that high. But I have a feeling that market makers are still having trouble delivering these positions because for the most part, the liquidity need or the demand is all to the buy side. There's very few people actually trading or selling this stock, and you'll notice that there's a lot of institutional traders if you go to the insiders and the uh, major holders on this particular stock. There's a lot of buyers, insider buys happening on this stock ever since it's been trading below a dollar. And if you were to go to the holders, to go and look at the top shareholders, there's several individuals up here that are holding a major, major majority of the shares. The top uh, the top three holders are actually individuals, two of them insiders, who uh, collectively own more than 37% uh, of the total company. So the situation for Troika right now appear to me that the stock is getting a whole bunch of bullish support, and it's possible that this may be moves by insiders or institutions that are in the know, they're scooping up shares, or it could just be pure retail volume. There's no way to really know until we get new filings coming out. But as it currently stands, Troika has a really strong level of support, and the volume direction candles suggest that this move is not done. I'm really excited to see what happens for the rest of the week and uh, going into the trading month of March.
But for right now, this is all I got for you. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content and if you found this helpful, please be sure to leave a like on the video. It really helps us out. Subscribe if you want to get more. Make sure to hit the bell icon so that you get notified. And if you want to learn how to spot these plays yourself, our Discord is more than happy to welcome you. Hell's Trading Floor is an excellent community for beginner traders to understand the basics of both day trading and swing trading, as well as long-term investing. And we also provide access to our proprietary scourge bot, which analyzes the market based on these types of short exempt liquidity situations and alerts you whenever we spot some potential tickers that may be going through a similar situation to what Troika is so that you can get an early entry. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Until then, have a hell of a time in the markets.